Hey guys, this is Elise. Welcome back to my project, Catholic Christian Friends for Intersectional Racial Healing. Today in this video, I'll be introducing my friend, Rebecca, and she'll be sharing a little bit about herself as a panelist. Hello, my name is Rebecca. I'm super excited to be part of this project. Um, yeah, just thinking about um, how our faith identity and our racial identity um, intersect is something that I've thought about a lot, um, processed through a lot for myself, and um, just had a lot of conversations with other people of faith um, about. So I'm excited to be sharing my story. Um, so yes, yeah, so a little bit about where I came from. So my family, um, my parents are originally from Madagascar. Um, they moved to France in the 80s before me and my siblings were born, or, or actually in the 90s, but anyway. Um, and then my siblings and I were born there, and then we moved to Ohio, um, to the United States when I was six. Um, and, um, yeah, we moved here because my dad felt called to start a, Christ a Malagasy Christian church in the, in New York. Um, so we commuted a lot from Ohio to New York growing up, um, being part of that community. Um, and when I, um, uh, in Ohio, uh, we grew up going to a majority white Presbyterian church. Um, yeah, they, that church was very focused on service. Um, they were very um, helpful to my family since we were an immigrant family. Um, I just remember them like giving us a lot of like resources that we needed. Um, and part of that for me, um, I spent a lot of summers with them going to, to different mission trips around, across the country. Um, and my freshman year of high school, um, I went on my first international mission trip to Peru. Um, and that was um, a very pivotal um, experience for me because that's when I had my first encounter with the Lord. Um, I was in the mountains, like just drawing random random things um and uh just like looking out in the mountains i i felt like i encountered him as my creator um for the first time um and and because of that like i just it, yeah that's when i started my relationship with the lord and uh, my faith manifested into a lot of service with the community with my church um um yeah, just different ways I could be the hands and feet of Jesus um, in this world. Um, and so, yeah, up until then, I didn't really think about my racial identity, my ethnic identity. I knew I was Malagasy. I was an immigrant. Um, I just received the messages that my family gave me about who I was. Um, and it wasn't until my junior year of high school where I went to a summer college program um, at a Christian college where I um, was part of a group of high schoolers who were part of different ethnic backgrounds, but were also Christians. Um, and that was like a very new experience for me. Um, yeah, I just didn't know other Christians who my age, first of all. Um, and yeah, I let alone just people of um, diverse backgrounds. Um, and so I think that's when I started to process like what, like, yeah, like really understand like how, well, first it was like, just, I think, very like something that became pa like a passion for me because like it was just beautiful to me just to see that there were people of diverse backgrounds like glorifying 
God and worshiping God. Um, but also I think it wasn't until, yeah, that experience and then uh, my undergrad experience where I was part of a multi-ethnic Christian organization um, where I really started to think about my identity. Um, because they offered a lot of like things like black ministries and like Asian Asian American community community um, like events. Um, so yeah, I start to think about like where do I fit in in all of that? Um, and yeah, thankfully in college, like I once again like had a very like diverse. Christian community. Um, and that's when I started to think, talk a lot with people about how both of those identities like intersect. Um, and that's when I did a lot of my processing about who I am. <laughs> um, and I think that still continues. Um, I, yeah, identify as Afro Asian. Um, and even with my siblings that like differs, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, but yeah, the main thing that I've like learned, um, and like continue to like come back, come back around to, um, as like a truth, um, from what I've learned and processed through all of this and had conversations um, with other people is that like God has created everyone and created me like for my own experience very uniquely um, not just like racially but like just in so many um, other ways um, but yeah like the way that he created my ethnic identity has is creative is unique to how he wants to use me um, and unique to how he wants to reflect him, his, himself and his attributes through me, um, ultimately to glorify him. And so that is what I want people to get out of this project. I want people to see that eventually um, through their own stories, through um, the sharing of other people's stories, um, and like, just to see that, like, to see his heart for like all nations. Um, and yeah, and that, that would, that would be like the, the main focus of like how we end up like conversating about this and how healing and, um, yeah, healing goes about through um, our conversation. Thanks so much for sharing, Rebecca, from your heart. And I look forward to sharing more conversations with you, both in real life and in um, on this panel with our friends. So everyone, please stay tuned for more of Rebecca's story and, um, and to be part of the conversation that we have as friends about this very important, well, several important topics. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.